we are given two points and we are asked to find the exact value of the distance between them. First, let's plot these two points. A is negative 6 plus 4, so that's A, and B is 6, negative 1. Okay, as the name rectangular coordinate system suggests, there are lots of lots of rectangles in the rectangular coordinate system and where there are rectangles there are right angles. One way to find the distance between these two points is to apply the Pythagorean theorem to a right triangle with horizontal and vertical sides like so. So we're going to connect A and B with a horizontal and a vertical line thereby creating a right triangle. There are always two ways we could have gone this way too. We could go vertical first and then horizontal or horizontal first and vertical. Obviously, the two, two triangles would be identical, so the answer would be the same. Now that we have a right triangle, we're going to be able to find the hypotenuse, but using the Pythagorean theorem, but first we have to find the shorter sides. Now we can either count how many line segments long this is, but we get the same result if we just subtract the corresponding coordinates. So this is a vertical line. This is about the y-coordinates, right? B, B is a point with y coordinate negative 1 and A is a coordinate with y coordinate 4. If you subtract the two, we get the distance. That would be the same thing as counting how many line segments are lined up here. It's good to know the algebraic version because what if the numbers are too big for us to sit there and count line segments? Basically just subtract the coordinates. So this vertical side of the triangle is 5 units long. Now what about the horizontal side? So we can count we can also kind of see that from negative 6, we have to go 6 to reach 0, and another 6 to go reach plus 6. So this is going to be 12 long, which is the same as to say that 6 minus negative 6. So again, this is about the difference between the x-coordinates. And so when you subtract them, you get uh, 6 minus negative 6 equals 12. For the, for the hypotenuse, we can apply the Pythagorean theorem. If we call the hypotenuse x, then the Pythagorean theorem stated for this triangle is 5 squared plus 12 squared equals x squared, so 169 equals x squared. All right. So in my class, there is something subtle but important going on. Now, our answer, uh, 169 is 13 squared which means that our answer will be that this is 13 units long. The hypotenuse is 13 units long. But I'd like you to be a little bit more careful with the ideas going on here. This is a quadratic equation with two solutions. Not only 13 squares 269, so does negative 13, right? So algebra is a powerful but blind machine that, that gives you back all the numbers that work with this equation. Negative 13 would also work with this equation. So algebraically, there are two solutions of this equation. And then when we take the solutions and interpret them within the context of the problem, we find that negative 13 is not possible because we, we labeled a, a distance with x and distances cannot be negative. Now that's a lot of writing. So all I'd like you to do is draw a little arrow. See, this is not a lot of writing. Uh, instead of going uh, x equals 13, I want you to write plus minus 13, and then an arrow, and the 13. So I will know this is going to be our code for, yeah, there are two algebraic solutions, and we kick out the negative one. This is important because in other problems, often both algebraic solutions are reasonable, correct, uh, correct solutions. Okay. Our answer is that the distance between the two points is 13 units. Thank you for watching.